Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. Uh, we're glad you joined us to talk about how you can use local search to maximize your business. My name is Adam DeYoung. I'm the marketing manager here at National Positions, and I'm joined uh, by Bernard May, our president, and Ryan Fish, our director of signature accounts. So let's, uh, let's jump into it. Looking at the agenda, first we're going to go over the strategic importance of your local listings and why that local ranking really uh, impacts your online business. And then we're going to go over the difference between local search or local SEO versus traditional SEO. And then we're going to show you really what Google is doing to change local search. And this, this is really the key to how you, you can change your local search marketing efforts. Um, and then we're going to show you what you really need to be doing to get found by local customers. We're going to show you some local marketing tips and tricks. And then we're going to introduce our local search ultimate, which we're really excited about. It's our new innovative month-to-month -month local search marketing uh, program, which uh, capitalizes on the, all these innovative new changes to the local search. And then we're going to go over a couple case studies, a couple clients of ours who really use our local search program to grow their business and really what are the big marketing takeaways that, uh, from, the, from their uh, case studies. And then since this is a, uh, a university webinar, we have uh, some homework for you, uh, an action plan of really what you can get to right away to transform your local business. And then we will finish up with a Q&A. So um, uh, if you have any questions over the course of the presentation, just type them in and we'll get to them at the end. So first, let's start by looking at the importance of a local listing. Here, um, Bernard, uh, when you look at this map, uh, what's the first thing that jumps to mind? So first of all, uh, you know, what is the importance of local listing? And I'd say that if you've got a local business of any sort, you know, where do you start looking for your local listings? And it's no longer the yellow pages, that's for sure. And even when you look at some of the other local directories, um, you know, Google, Google makes about 70% of the entire market share, and they are really dominating the first page. I mean, in the past, you used to see, for instance, the online yellow pages, you used to see uh, Yelp and other, uh, and other uh, uh, web sites, and you still, from time to time, see them. But uh, what Google did earlier in the year is they took Marissa Mayer, she's one of the, uh, the top original Googlers, and put her in charge of local. And so you can see there's a huge emphasis that Google is putting on local. They're also putting a huge emphasis on mobile. And you know, to get, together those are really important. And uh, the other thing is as well, is over time where people would f show up for certain search results uh, in SEO, those search results are no longer showing up in local. And so, you know, again, the, the importance of being uh, featured in what we call the sevens or the you know these these seven results that you're seeing uh, over here in red uh, is extremely is important these seven pack uh, and um, and and not only is it important today but it's continuing to be uh, you know important in the future the other area as well that uh, Google's been able to accomplish is if you type in things like plumber or dentist or um, uh, lawyer, it's going to show you local results and it'll look at the IP address of your computer and it'll come up with those types of results, which is something that didn't exist uh, maybe 12 months ago. So local is, if you've got any kind of local business, it's really important that you show up on those results. So here are some local search trends that we found uh, really, really um, amazing and really show the power of uh, local search to transform your business. The first of these is uh, there are 4 billion local searches on Google per month. Now that's just Google, which yes, it's about 70% of the search market, but you know that means there may be even about 6 billion lo local searches every month worldwide. And then of those, about 61% of local searches result in a purchase. So that should show you right there that most people are looking for things online, and when they're looking, they're looking to purchase relatively, relatively soon. And then uh, breaking it down a little further, 55% of mobile users search for local products and services. So as Bernard just said, you know, there's a reason why two, Google's two big initiatives this year have been lo local and mobile, because you know, the two really go hand in hand. People are finding things on their mobile devices locally and they're looking to buy them right away. And then this, that sort of uh, also hits home on this last stat, which is 90% of mobile local prospects take action within 24 hours. So these are the prospects who are just, you know, they're really, really qualified and they're, they're really, really valuable because they're the most likely to become clients right away. 
In the next slide, uh, a few more stats that really uh, really illustrate the point is um, local's share of the mobile search market. So you can see from just 2008 to 2013, which in you know the big picture isn't long, but it seems like eons in the, the technology world is just the local to non-local, um, that just increase in searches and revenue. Um, it really just shows you that the local search market is really where a lot of money is going. And if you look at the adoption of mobile devices, uh, this year we're going to have, I think half of all users already uh, are smartphones. So people have uh, smartphones that they're using and when they're using them they want to take action and usually it is for something local they want to find a restaurant they want to find a doctor they want to find an address and they are ready to take action so that's what makes uh, local search again very exciting um, <coughs> excuse me so a lot of the times when we have our clients and we're talking about maybe using local search for their business is they, they don't really uh, know the difference between local search and traditional SEO so Bernardo, could you break it down for us? What really is the difference between the two? So um, when we look at traditional SEO, we're looking at content, we're looking at on-site programming, we're looking at linking. For the most part, uh, these are the fundamentals that go into a successful campaign. When you look at local search, there is another factor as well, a number of factors, but one of them is an area that you cannot fudge, and that is that you have a physical address. So for instance, if you're uh, a dentist in Los Angeles and you may be based in Santa Monica you're not going to be able to show up in New York I mean it just isn't physically possible and so you know those that is one of the the factors uh, fundamental factor that Google will take into account and you know we've had lots of people from moving companies to um, to uh, limo services that will ask us if there's a possibility to set them up in multiple cities and the answer is no. There is a way in local search for you to set yourself up for a certain um, vicinity or region that you can, that's the service region that you can, you can handle but actually physically showing up in certain areas you do need to have a legitimate address. The, um, the other thing that's, um, you know, that's different is there are different parameters, there are about 50 different parameters in local search versus uh, tr traditional SEO which has about 200 different parameters and uh, we're going to go into those in some detail but uh, many of them are how you set up your profile and how your profile uh, shows across the web and um, so without further ado I think a good idea is to probably jump into those and, um, and we'll start by looking at how Google is changing local search and, and um, and how we get found by by local customers. So um, let's go, you know, jump into first of all, you know, Google Places and the setup of, of Google Places. Maybe Adam, you want to talk about, you know, how that actually, you know, how do you set up your profile? How do you get found? Sure. Um, well, you can see the image here. We 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 uh, we grabbed is a uh, Garrett T. Ogata, which is a client of ours. He's a Las Vegas uh, lawyer, and he tr he's trying to rank for a Las Vegas DUI lawyer, which as you can imagine, is a pr probably a pretty competitive term. Um, and we, we pulled this because it, he's got many really great uh, great optimization, uh, optimization factors that he's integrated into his, his Google Places uh, page. So um, really the rule of thumb is um, optimize a Google Places page in many ways like you would a website. It's in many, and it is in many ways like a mini website. So you have to you know, have the right keyword selection. There's the right keyword placement. You know, there's the right category selection. What what uh, line of what industry are you in? What industry are people looking for you specifically of those who are local local prospects? You know, you always need to put your name, address, phone, and this as we call it the NAP. This is um, this might be really the uh, silver bullet when it comes to local search because Google's crawlers don't have eyes and ears. So how are they going to know that your that your business um, you know is important? How how are they going to know that? Garrett Ogata is important for the Las Vegas DUI lawyer. Well, the key is to have that name, address, and phone, you know, uh, syndicated around the web as many times as possible. So Google comes to that comes to his website when people search for that. Also, optimize your image. Also, same as you would on your website. You know, coupons are a really great thing to offer on a Google Places page. You know, that's not so much for search, but that's for conversion. You know, that's the other aspect of this. Um, video optimization, also a huge, a huge ranking factor. And then manually own owner, manually owner verified places page. Um, you really can't fudge a lot of that. You know, this has to be organic. 
So it has to be the proper location, the proper telephone numbers. All these are, are really important. So, um, you know, just a couple of comments on that as well. As um, if you go back to, you know, uh, keyword selection is you really, you know, are limited. You should take the, the main areas of business that you, you handle. And uh, if, uh, for instance, in the case of Garrett, if he's also doing additional, has additional areas of law, like he's doing criminal defense, he definitely wants to include that in there. Um, categories, you know, typically you only have you only have up to five categories that you can select. Uh, we do have applications uh, in at national positions which will help you select the best categories for your business and give you an opportunity. Just like when you choose keywords in search engine optimization, we knew, know how many people are searching for certain categories, but also it's a business uh, driven uh, requirement. Uh, one of the, the tips overall, I think, when it comes to setting up your profiles, be as thorough as possible. A lot of people have started, they've kind of half filled out their uh, their profile. You need to get the whole thing uh, filled out as, as much as possible. Video is very important. Um, you know, it's, it's not as important as probably going to be in the future, but it's important for you from a conversion standpoint to have video there because people want to you know, meet the lawyer, for instance, or meet the dentist and see the, the, um, the overall practice. And, um, you know, uh, this is an opportunity as well. Coupons are another conversion factor. Yeah. So, um, and then what is manually uh, owner verified? So what uh, Google does is they actually either call you on your telephone uh, number and give you a verification code so that you um, can verify that the telephone number does actually belong to the business or they'll send you a postcard. It's really important that you actually uh, take the call or actually receive the postcard and put in that code and that way Google knows that this isn't some kind of fudged address, that it is a real address and they will give you better rankings because of that. Um, aside from Google Places, which is really where you should start for local search, there are a lot of top uh, local ranking factors. That, uh, that we've found through you know, research and development. Um, number one, matching places, phone number, location, a website. Again, that comes back to Google wants it to be, these to be organic results. And that means you know, just what it sounds like. So you know, don't put, you know, if you're not in Los Angeles and you're in you know, um, San Diego, that they don't, Google doesn't want you to show up for Los Angeles rankings. Yeah, and another like, really important factor is consistency. You want to make sure that when you put in your name, address, and phone number, and you see links on different sites, or if you have other directories out there, that everything is consistent. And this is known as kind of a cite. It's known as a citation. And uh, so just keep that in mind whenever you're putting in your phone number, your name, and your location, known as NAP, as you said in the previous slide. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the next thing is your is your local phone number. If you want to be found locally. It's better to use a local uh, area code, not have a toll-free number. Sure. Uh, another area as well that uh, Google is looking at and putting quite a lot of emphasis on is positive reviews. Uh, this is something that you should actively be working on to get your clients to actually give you reviews. And we do have a program, we have a new program under National Reviews, uh, which is a positive review booster program, which will actually go out and get you reviews, then um, your actual rankings on your website, how well your website does uh, on the search engines will actually determine your rankings. And so it is very important that you actually do search engine optimization as well as local search. You don't have to do it, but if you, get good, if you have good SEO results, you will have good local results as well. Then inbound linking, uh, really important to, just as um, inbound linking is important for SEO, inbound linking is important for your profile, but it's different. It's how many times your name and address show up in different places, and we'll go into that in more detail uh, shortly. And then, you know, again, you know, how many times and how many times uh, those citations are shown throughout the web. So um, this next slide really just to show you really the distribution to major online directories. You know, um, these are many of the, uh, you know, the directories and portals that we, uh, that we get, uh, that we syndicate uh, your local results to. Um, again, this is just about, you know, Google needs to know that when someone types in a search result, they're looking for something, a local product or service, 
that's uh, that your business provides that your business then shows up in that seven pack. So, so this is kind of the start of where we, this is where we begin with any local search optimization is to get your name out there in as many directories as possible. Now it's not saying that you have to use our program which tries to get you into the, the around 80 to 100 different directories. You can actually go out and do this yourself. But uh, it's important again to have yourself shown showing up in as many places as possible. When Google sees that you're showing up in the yellow pages, you're showing up in the different portals and the verticals and the hyperlocals, you know they think that you're uh, you know you, you're an important business, and so they will give you better rankings. The next is positive reviews. You know, as this is an example right here, sort of a positive review. That Someone wrote about a restaurant that they had. This is a this is really common. You know, most of us have put reviews online, whether it was one or whether you know hundreds or thousands that some of us do. Um, you know, as Bernard was saying, um, you know, getting into that seven pack, getting into that top real ranking real estate for local results is really really valuable. But as that becomes more valuable and really more competitive, now people are going to look at the different results in those seven pack, and they're going to look at maybe one result that has one or two reviews. And it, you know, maybe they're two or three out of five stars, and then one that maybe has hundreds of reviews, and they're all four or five stars. And you know, just logically, which which uh, which business are you likely to choose? You know, and, and one one of the analogies that we hear a lot is if you're looking at two restaurants, and one has nobody in it, or one has a lot of people in it, you're going to go to the one that has a lot of people in it because it's you know it's a validation. You know, there's there's some trust there. Um, it's the same thing with reviews. So this is also something we help you with, um, our Positive Review Pro program. Um, we can gather and then verify organic positive reviews, and then we syndicate them around the web to, to Google Places, to Yelp, to other review sites, so that when, you're, uh, that when you do get found locally, um, there's a lot of activity, positive activity that's surrounding your brand. So basically, you know, we're saying positive reviews help your rankings, positive re reviews help your conversions. Uh, so obviously they important. Mm -hmm. So now moving on to uh, mobile optimized, uh, we were talking about the urgency factor, we looked at all those uh, original statistics earlier on in the uh, presentation and uh, you know mobile is going to become more and more important uh, you um, you know depending on what type of business you have it may be more important than others uh, one of the tips I have for you is when you put your video together put the video um, design the video with mobile users in mind, which means that you don't want to have a huge amount of detail, do, do more close-ups, um, build the video for the small screen. And um, also, the other key tip is build a mobile optimized website that will actually work on a smartphone. And we found that if you do have a mobile optimized website or mobile website, and you hook it up to your um, your local listing. You uh, you know this is another factor that will get you a higher rankings, especially if someone is searching on their mobile phone. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this brings up video. Where is video going, and what's important in video? Well, I gave you a tip on mobile. Uh, the other area is that you know over time, I see that the local listings are going to be uh, far more interactive you're going to have uh, videos, video overlays, and you know, you're know you going to really be able to pitch your business and show your business, and it's important to have uh, as many videos as you can that are gonna promote your business. Uh, if, you're, if you've got a service-based business, people often wanna meet the staff. If it's a business where you know people are gonna come in and use the facility, you probably wanna show them if you've got a, a day spa or if you're a dental practice, you know, it'd be probably be a, or a restaurant, it'd be a great idea to have um, a, a video of that and of course testimonials. Testimonials can really sell your business so it's worthwhile actually um, you know, having a video and also the more you, know, you have dual purpose here, you can optimize your video using VSEO but you can also include that in the profile itself and uh, the more comprehensive your profile, again, the better your rankings. And, and moving on to social media integration, this really ties up um, sort of all the key components of local search. So now you may be thinking, well, what, what social media or video or mobile have to do with it? Well, you know, let's go through sort of a very um, usual experience. You're coming home from work, 
and uh, you're meeting some friends or family for dinner and then you look on your iPhone or your Android for a restaurant nearby. You know, you're going to you're going to look on Google Maps most likely. And then the the results that are going to show up, you know, first are the results that have been optimized for local search using local SEO. So then you go to those different uh, results and then you you find a couple and those you know, look good. You're going to go to the me the website because you're going to look at the the, the menu or, or if it was another business, you're going to look at the services or the products. So it you know it better be a mobile optimized website so that it's clean and it's got uh, you know click to call and click to map. It's got easy calls to action for conversion and maybe it has some of the so social media integration so you can find deals on Facebook and Twitter. So all this uh, works really in tandem to uh, to get you found by local customers and really convert them as, as often as you can. I think the two points I want to bring up here. The one is uh, the idea of checking in. Uh, today, Foursquare has uh, the idea, you know, where are you so your friends can find you at a certain restaurant, or a certain bar, um, or you've gone to a certain doctor, or whatever it is where you're checking, you know, you've checked in. People see that, and that's a way to promote your business. If you do have the other point is if you have social media uh, integrated into your profile, you are probably going to get better results. I mean, from what we can see, it's it's hard to tell. I don't think it's a huge factor right now, but it's growing, and that's why we put plus one there. Plus one uh, today, we're there no business profiles on plus one, but that's going to happen very soon. Anything to do with Google, where you get yourself, you know, set up, is going to help on your Google profile. You know, Google's kind of dominating. They say they don't want to be evil, but overall they're really trying to dominate the space. And if you play in their area by, for instance, using it to plus one, I think that will um, over, over time, uh, those types of things are going to certainly help you. So now we wanted to talk a little bit about Local Search Ultimate, which we're really excited about. It's our new uh, monthly local search program where we've combined all of these different elements uh, from that Google's new uh, new updates to local search, and we we sort of taken advantage of them to create this program that really helps you powerfully uh, get found by local 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 customers. So one of the things that we found, which was really interesting, why we built the local search ultimate, is because the uh, you know just having a profile and creating all these citations around the web and. Uh, Getting yourself set up is just not enough now to get into that seven pack, and it's so critical. Once you're in the the seven pack, you, know, you can really it can have a phenomenal impact on your overall business. And kind of, I won't say make or break, but it, it potentially could. So, what else can you do to promote your business further? And that's with search, uh, local search ultimate, and we have various packages, but um, we have a silver and a gold package. They, uh, they vary in what they do, but ultimately a press release. If you have a, pre a press release that you put out e each month and it has um, a, your, 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 uh, your name, address, and phone number in it, it's going to add additional value to your listings. It's going to make you stand out from the rest. And we found that to be a, have a huge impact. Article syndication, actually writing an article, syndicating it around the web, is another way again in the footer your name address and phone number and actually submitting the profile your profile manually to various directories is really helpful um, doing social media bookmarks and profiles and actually taking your uh, profile itself and um, and creating um, a, ge a geo site map on your website um, putting certain meta tags on your website as well for local search, putting Google Place links on, and, uh, and let me just show you that quickly. So what is a, a kind of a map link that you could put on? So if I go over to National Positions as an example, here's the National Positions linking, uh, listing, and this map listing is an embedded map. So I could have this map show up on the national position site that's very helpful now the more times that map shows up on other third-party sites is, is is a very helpful it's kind of like having a YouTube video showing up on multiple sites it's a vote for your overall um, website and so that's one of the things that we do we do these Google place links and uh, we do name address and phone number links it's a citation links 
we uh, design videos for you, we um, set up the mobile site that we spoke about and also um, help set up your social media profiles so that they point back to your, you know, they have your name, address and phone number and maybe even reference uh, the local listing profile. Um, <clears throat> so we, we wanted to provide you a couple case studies, some success stories of clients who've used our local search pr uh, program and it's really just tr transformed their business tremendously. So we want to sort of examine them and really see, you know, what they did well and, you know, how that relates to you and what you can really, the marketing takeaway for you going forward. So the first example is uh, Schleppers, Schleppers.com, which um, really just dominates locally for, uh, they're a moving company in Manhattan. So you can imagine, you know, how competitive of a really hyper localized search term this is, you know, for anything having to do with moving in New York City, um, you know, millions of people are moving in New York all the time. So um, we, we've been able to use this uh, methodology to get them ranked number one for local, locally across the board for a bunch of uh, related uh, local terms. Um, and just since the beginning of 2011, uh, shortly after we started doing this program, they've had over 50,000 local impressions. So, you know, from our local program, they've had over 50,000 uh, local prospects, which you can just imagine for a, you know, medium-sized moving uh, company business, that's just, that's enormous. That's an or enormous uh, exposure. And then of those, over 5,000 have taken local actions. So, uh, you know, that's a pretty good, that's a 10% conversion rate. That's really phenomenal. And, and maybe if you look at the ROI on this as well, um, many of these terms are very, very expensive, and it's so it's been extremely helpful to get all of these uh, these uh, lo these impressions as well as the actions taken. Um, and then the other way is just to look at how much new business uh, came in for Schleppers through this, uh, which I know had a big impact on their ultimate uh, bottom line. Mm -hmm. And then the other case study here is um, Taylor Reporting Services. So. Um, you know, if you're thinking, well, for local search, does it really matter if maybe I'm in the service, a service-based industry? Well, you bet. People are still looking for anything that's service-based. Um, here, uh, Taylor, they do uh, court reporting services, um, and they're based in Pensacola, Florida. So while that's not as, uh, as competitive as, um, as a moving com uh, company in Manhattan, uh, it's still very, very important. You know, in, since the beginning of uh, 2011, they've had almost 5,000 local impressions. So still, that's exposure to almost 5,000 prospects who otherwise might not have found them at all. And of those, um, over 500 have taken action. So uh, we wanted to give you a bit of an action plan. So here's your homework, since this is, is, this is a university webinar. Um, there's a lot to take in of uh, what you can do for local search. So uh, let's, uh, let's look at uh, what you can do right, uh, right as soon as the uh, webinar ends. Uh, you know, first thing you should do, first and foremost, check check your local listing. You know, are you in that seven pack? Uh, unfortunately, if a lot of the things we've, we've been discussing are coming as uh, news to you, you're probably not in the seven pack right now. But uh, the good news is that can change uh, pretty easily just with uh, implementing a lot of the best practices. Um, the next thing is create a Google Places page. You know, there's uh, no time like the present. Um, you know, it's an ongoing optimization process. But the first thing you should do is at the very least set one up so you, you're on the map, you know, you have that exposure. Um, uh, the third thing you should do is optimize your, your site for mobile search. Um, our mobile marketing program offers a free mobile website design and integration with your mobile, uh, with your uh, traditional website, which doesn't interfere with traditional search at all. You just uh, paste a line of code in your, uh, in your index page and uh, if someone finds you from a mobile device, they will automatically be redirected to your, your mobile site. And uh, so yeah, so you can go to nationalmobileseo.com and design your customized mobile site for free. So you know, that's hard to beat. I think one of the things that we, we could have added here as well is if you do have a places page, go back, review it, make sure that everything is filled in as most, is your page as comprehensive as it could be, and you know, find the gaps and take care of those. Uh, the other, you know, finally is, you know, let's, let's, if we can help you in any way, we'd love to help you. Uh, we do have an audit uh, that we have, and so uh, please feel free to call your salesperson or your um, customer service or project manager uh, here at National Positions. Uh, we'll be more than happy to give you a free overview of what's working, what isn't working for your local program right now. Mm -hmm. So looking at the, the conclusion, Bernard, what, uh, how would you, you know, looking ahead, the local search market, what, what do you think is the, 
You know, I think that we are looking at a situation where to survive and thrive, you need to take local very, very seriously. And Google is the dominant player. They're the, the, uh, the, the, the major player here. They're starting to push out all of these other directories. The Yellow Pages is pretty much dead. I mean, if you want to uh, promote your business locally, uh, beside, you know, and you want to do it online, there is really one place to go um, that you need to have as a core part of your solution, and that is Google. I mean, there are other, uh, there are other local listings out there, and you know, depending on your business, it'd be Yelp or Angie's List or or Bing or Yahoo. We haven't forgotten about those, but our emphasis today is, you know, get the most important, um, you know, of the lo listings uh, optimized and done. And um, so now I think, you know, without further ado, we'll go to some questions. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I, I see there are a few people that have uh, asked a couple of uh, questions out there. Yeah, the first question uh, we got, which is actually we got, uh, we got asked it uh, the most often, so let's start with it, is um, how, does, how does Google know the difference between a local search and a sort of, you know, worldwide search? So I guess they're asking, you know, how do they know when you look for plumbers, you want that seven pack, you want local results. Yeah, I think this is something that uh, um, we've we've uh, we've looked at this quite closely, and we've tried numerous different terms. Usually, if you are going to buy the service locally, like for instance, if you're looking for an attorney, you're going to want to find an attorney locally. Usually. Uh, if you're going to buy a lawnmower or you're going to have a pool service done, it's going to be local. So um, what I understand is that Google went through thousands and thousands of iterations to come up with a list. It may not always look logical, but lo logical to everybody, but um, when you think of it from this perspective of, you know, if you're going to buy, for instance, party supplies, you probably going to buy it uh, buy some of those locally. Um, like for instance if you're buying helium balloons you may want to buy party supplies um, from a big national company for things that are easily shipped but uh, obviously you know with balloons you're not gonna have that shipped across the country and uh, if it's a big bulky item again uh, but if it's electronics you may well want to buy that so you'll see that that varies you put in camera you're gonna come up with local with uh, national listings you put in um, a car and you're going to find uh, local car uh, dealerships mm -hmm. on your local listing. Um, the next question we got is, um, it's about Google AdWords Express, actually. Someone uh, had noticed that Google uh, has now offered a local AdWords, so and what we think about that and maybe how that ties into the local search, cam to a local search uh, campaign. So Bernard, what do you yeah, so, think about so, local AdWords? Um, first of all, I think Express is great. It's uh, it's simple to set up. You, you can be up and running in a very very short order. Um, it uh, you know with organic, you are limited uh, to a certain extent by the number of categories and the number of keywords you can put in. And so this, uh, like we say for search engine optimization, it's a very good idea to augment. Uh, your current offering and just so everybody knows I'm just gonna go over and show you what um, Google Express looks like so this is uh, a listing here that someone has paid for so we have uh, Shindigs which is our, a client of ours which is uh, a national client and they're based in Indianapolis and uh, so that's good they show up uh, the first three results here are organic results and then we've got the seven pack showing up afterwards but this person's paid, uh, Le Petit Party is paid to be up here and it's highlighted in blue. So uh, I, th I think there definitely is um, uh, a good reason uh, to use Express in, in certain cases. Mm -hmm. And uh, the next question we got is, um, which we got asked a few times actually, um, is when I, if I rank locally, the person wants to know if they rank locally, What's the ma what's the potential of that reach? Is that you know in a city? Is it is it is it in a part of the country? What's the reach of a, of a local listing? Um, so it it depends on the type of service that you're providing. Uh, so you'll see that vary. Uh, if you again have a service that someone would not travel a very far distance for, 
like typically a dentist if you're looking for a dentist you're gonna probably go locally but if you're looking for a cos uh, dent de a cosmetic dentistry you may travel throughout your city if you're looking for um, you know so that's that's how you're gonna look for things either on a kind of a city-wide as opposed to uh, a suburb wide search and you'll see that change and you can define that so if you're offering say for instance tax consulting uh, Google will ask you when you set up your profile how far are you, you know what kind of range would you be prepared to service or pool service someone might travel or painter might travel 25 miles to do you know a painting job and uh, so that's about as far as it will go in fact, we have a, an example. Of, we have a client of ours who does. Who's a plumber, and he's a local plumber, and he's in Ventura. But he uh, he ranks very highly locally in Los Angeles plumbers. So you know that's about thirty miles away. So it really depends. You know, it also depends on the the power and success of your your local SEO campaign. Um, so I think that's that's that, that was most of the questions. I think we we got them all addressed one way or the other. So we wanted to thank you all so much for joining us this morning, um, taking time out of the, the work week to join us and we hope uh, you learn a little bit about uh, local search and if you have any questions, you know, please contact one of our, uh, our consultants or project managers and they'll be happy to, uh, to give you an audit and to, to show you how you can boost local sales online.